chocolate chip cookies at Santiago's Culinary Arts Kitchen. You want to first start out by setting up your mise en place, putting your dry ingredients in one bowl, your egg and vanilla in another, and in your mixing bowl, you want to put your sugars and butter. Attach the paddle mixer to your bowl, lock your bowl, and put it on stir. Incorporate the ingredients, and then you want to turn the mixer up a speed. It takes about five minutes to cream the butter and sugar together until it is light and fluffy. The color of the dough actually changes, and you can see that it is ready to add the egg and vanilla. First, you want to scrape down your bowl and get all the dough off the paddle attachment. Then you'll add in the egg and vanilla and stir on the slow speed until it's all incorporated and you can't see egg in the mixture. From here, you're going to scrape the bowl down once more. Add half of your dry ingredients. Dry ingredients include your flour, baking soda, and salt. You want to make sure you use the stir speed so you don't get flour <laughs> coming out the bowl like that. Once that's incorporated, you're going to turn off the mixer again, add the second half of the dry ingredients, and stir until that is incorporated. About 30 seconds for each. Once your dough is made, you can add in all of your extra ingredients. Today, this group is adding in chocolate chips and chunks. You can add dried fruit, nuts, or anything you like. If you're making the dough that, to bake it the following day or later in the day, you can put all of the dough in the refrigerator. It will be nice and chilled and ready for you to scoop. Line your baking tray with a sill pat or parchment paper. It helps to be able to take them off of the sheet tray later. So here we're using a disher to scoop the dough into perfect balls onto your cookie tray. Bake them at a preheated oven that's set to 325 for about 15 minutes. And here are our cookies. After they've cooled on the tray for about five minutes, you can put them on the cooling rack to finish. Join us at commonskitchen.weebly.com for more recipes like this.